Hello and uh, welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, this time I've got a mahogany card table, uh, circa maybe 1830 or so. Uh, beautiful table, uh, the leaves uh, lift up and then the top spins. It's got some nice brass inlay. Uh, the only thing this is in for is the top got uh, badly scratched. Somebody was moving a lamp or something on the top here and it got badly scratched. Uh, the rest of the table is in perfect condition. So we're just going to leave everything else alone. Just concentrate on trying to repair the finish on this top surface. Uh, if this can't be repaired, then I'll have to strip this top surface and redo the top surface. First thing to do is to get the screws out here. There's three screws on each side uh, to take the leaf off the hinge. I thought Oh, maybe I can take the whole top off, both leaves together, and I looked underneath, and there's a, a bolt with a nut, so I just uh, backed off the nut, and uh, the whole top will just lift right off. So for now, I'll just lift the whole top off, I try to work on it um, with all the leaves together if I need to uh, later on I'll take the screws out and just take the one leaf off and this bolt has a square shank on it that fits in a square hole and this spins all right I moved it down into the finishing room I'm gonna set up a little prop to prop it up off the table since that bolt sticks out of the bottom and put a towel over the 2x4s just to protect the bottom of the top. Now first thing is uh, go over the whole thing with some TSP. It'll clean off all the oils, waxes and old polishes. Now what I'm going to do is um, start uh, trying to repair the scratches. What I'm going to do is a process called cutting back. And in this case, I'm going to start off with some wet sanding. I could either do dry sanding or wet sanding. In this case, I'm going to do wet sanding to start. I'm going to cut back the finish. And one advantage of wet sanding, I can see what the scratches look like when they're wet and see how much they'll disappear with the new finish. And I'm wet sanding with naphtha and 320 grit paper. Now after the wet sanding, I'm going to take a little bit of a red mahogany dye and put a little bit of mahogany dye in all the scratches. And just after the wet sanding, there's a huge improvement. Uh, scratches are much less visible. Now the next series of steps is going to be uh, spraying some acrylic over the area where the scratches are. I'm going to start filling in the scratches. Uh, this is a process of spraying some acrylic over the area. Let it dry. And then cut back the area around the scratches. I'm going to repeat this maybe a dozen times until all of the scratches are filled in. Okay, we've got the last coat of acrylic over the scratches. I'm going to let that dry, cut it back again. Now it looks like I'm uh, ready to do the top coat. The scratches are completely filled. But first, I'm going to do a little more touch-up. There's some light spots on the top there. I'm going to touch those up.
Now I'm ready for the top coat. Uh, in this case, I'm going to top coat it with the spray acrylic and do what's called dust or mist coating. I'm going to do about a dozen coats. Uh, this is just one coat, misting it back and forth. I'm going to do this for a little bit, let it dry, come back, do it again, and repeat that about a dozen times. Uh, I want to build up the finish without getting orange peel. Now after that dried for a couple of days, after the last coat of dust coating, I'm going to wet sand it again, rub it with the maroon pad and some steel wool, and finish up with some wax. Okay, that's it for this one. Just a quick repair on this top. Took a few days to do. Uh, as you recall, uh, there was uh, some deep scratches right here. Uh, a lamp or something was sitting here and I turned a lamp or something. So uh, what I try to do in these cases is uh, try to cut back the finish and fill in the scratches. So I was successfully able to uh, fill in the scratches. Uh, first by cutting back the finish. And then successfully uh, do successive coats of uh, spray in this area, cut it back, another coat of spray, cut it back again, and keep doing that until the scratches are completely filled. And then do, in this case, um, I did what's called mist coating or dust coating. Just avoid any orange peel of any kind. So I did that maybe a dozen times to build up the finish and then rubbed it out. Now the uh, scratches are still faintly visible, uh, but there's other dark spots and uh, dings in the uh, finish, so that all kinds of just blends in.